Hello there guys and welcome to this video, this is uh, episode 3 of the Windows History series and in this episode we'll be looking at Windows 2000 Professional. Okay, so Windows 2000. Now this was built on NT technology, as the banner uh, says. Um, it did feature the uh, Control Delete logon screen uh, as default, whereas XP um, had the new um, Lunar UI Metro. No, not Metro. One, what am I about? Um, the Lunar UI logon screen, whereas this has the classic one. Okay, so if we just log on, okay. Try and click okay. Yeah. Now I assume that sound was like brings about some memory memories for some people, but here goes is some uh, top features of Windows 2000. Okay, so in Windows 2000 you had DVD support, so that meant that you could just literally sling a disc in and you could play it. So uh, obviously I don't have a disc in, but you could play movies, audio, uh, which is especially good for laptops at the time obviously there was no 1080p videos at that time, blu-ray, that, that, that didn't exist so it was only sort of low quality type videos but uh, that, that suited people for the time uh, it also supported multi monitors so you could have up to 10 video cards um, and 10 monitors According to the sheet, I don't think that's quite right. That 10 video cards. Anyway, each with different resolutions and colour depths if desired. So, obviously, this machine I'm running at is set to true colour 32 bit and 1920 by 1080 pixels, but obviously, at the time, people were still running CRTs, so you'd have 1024 by 768 resolution. So, the accessibility was much better as well. So, the, ac the accessibility wizard, if we can find that, um, program, there we go. Uh, where there is. Uh, okay, so that's um, it had new and improved features such as uh, a narrator, on-screen on keyboard, magnifier, and the familiar tools for uh, from Windows 98. So we just go through here. I haven't been through here. I've never been through here myself, so new to me as well. Um, smallest text. Hmm. Let's have that one. Ah, that makes everything bigger and gives you magnifier. So that can piss off now. Um, oh, we'll just set that back to how it was. Okay, so that that is the default uh, now for Windows 2000. So, also you could move files without wires. So the infrared monitor supports IRDA, um, the file transfer between Windows 2000 machines and digital cameras, digital video cameras, and other devices. So. Yeah, infrared. There's that. Um, it did support wireless, although it was a little bit finicky to get it working as well. Uh, I have tried it once before, but uh, it was never any good. So, so yeah. Um, effortless device installation, which it had new technology such as USB and uh, FireWire, making Windows 2000 more expandable with fewer problems. So as you can see, I've got my pen drive plugged into here, uh, obviously. That's it. Straight working. Okay, so it also supported plug and play. So for hot dot laptops, uh, on the fly networking, and other features implemented without requir requiring rebooting or manual configuration. So uh, there's that. Uh, smart cards uh, made l network logons more secure with minimal cost. So if you had a smart card, you could log onto the domain quicker. So if you want to know that. It had internet connection sharing, NAT addressing name resolution and virtual private network for, for when you have multiple networks that want to connect together. Uh, the IntelliMirror, a uh, loosely defined group of technologies that supported mobile users, auto rebuild of machines and other features. Um, it also supported, uh, had better support for your devices, Windows, Windows 2000 supported over 4000 printers, 700 network devices. 4,200 modems, 55 scanners, 50 cameras, and a vast array of other hardware devices. So we can see that if we go into printers, we can see uh, obviously 
printer is working. Okay, so you had Internet Explorer as well, so you could go through um, the Internet Connection Setup Wizard. Uh, you could tell it how you connect. So, I'll sign up for a new internet account uh, over the telephone line, transfer existing, um, or use LAN. So, I connect through a local area network, automatic discovery proxy server, blah blah. The internet mail, no, I'm not doing that. Okay, so there we go, we are hopefully on the internet. Okay, so obviously this is a new website, a new new style website, so if we go to google.co.uk, there we go, we're, all, we're running Internet, Internet Explorer 5, which was for Windows 2000. Uh, you can see copyright 1995-1999, which is uh, dating back, back a little bit now. Um, obviously you can hear the sounds that uh, are being generated from the Windows 2000 interface. Let's say if we're going to I don't know, um, let, let's just find one. Yep, you can remember that sound. Um, that one as well, I can remember that. Okay, um, question. Uh, all, seem to, all seem to be the same sound for some reason. So if we go uh, low battery one. Uh, this is the same. But, um, yeah, it did support networking. Uh, it was very good for networking. Uh, you could set static IPs. It, it, it had worked brilliantly. I am a sort of fan of, the, of this OS. Um, uh, obviously, it's better than 98 uh, or ME. That, that was terrible. Um, so yeah, here we go. We have, we've got the um, one place. There we go. Um, it allowed you to set backgrounds. The appearance was just had the Windows standard, so you didn't have any of the Windows XP Luna UI. You just had the standard classic shell that was in Windows 2000. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching my video um, on Windows 2000. Please like, rate, comment, and subscribe, and comment below saying whether you ever owned Windows 2000, uh, whether you liked it. Was it any good in your opinion? Uh, was it terrible? Um, and please feel free to discuss that sort of thing as well at my forums, which is www.benstechtips.co.cc. Um, also, if you want to check out my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash benstechtips. And thanks for watching.